Let's get it. So if you're a Chad gamer like me, you most likely delve into mods every once in a while. Probably mod some Fallout New Vegas or, you know, add some weeaboo type shit over to Fallout 4 or, you know, you know probably it. go into Stalker and add some like different mods over there on the side which you know make it a, you know a more immersive experience you can mod pretty much almost any game nowadays if you scroll up and down the freaking nexus mod page there's so many games out there and so many mods published for each of these games it's kind of ridiculous but that's the beauty of it right there's a lot of this user created content that's out there and created for people to enjoy for free and a lot of these people just make this stuff on their free time so they can visualize something in a game, maybe adding a feature that they felt should have been there or a weapon or something like that or adding in a completely different gameplay mechanic that wasn't even there in the first place. When Halo 1 made its way over onto PC, it was like a fucking dream come true. I played Halo 1 so much growing up, and then when I found out that it came to PC, which is where I did a lot of my gaming primarily growing up, I quickly dove into finding mod tools. Back in the day, I installed Halo Custom Edition and played through so many different mods and enjoyed so much different custom content that was available out there. And you can actually find all of this content still available to go and download to this day. But nowadays, the Halo modding community is actually starting to evolve. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. And now there are mod tools such as Assembly that have let the community go ahead and create things that we have never seen possible. And that's what I actually want to talk about today. There's a mod that has actually been making a lot of circulation over the past few weeks in the Halo modding community that has brought something to Halo that a lot of fans have been wanting Bungie and even 343 to add in for quite a while. Holy shit. When I saw that opening cutscene, I knew the Halo modding community is making a comeback. I used to lose hours upon hours playing huge ass and all those different mods back in the day. Even Area 51 and the weird continuity that Area 51 ended up having back in the day. It was a lot of fun with these Halo mods. And now we're seeing a resurgence with this mod and many more. Crispy Mods has taken it a step further than just creating a wave-based flood type game mode in Halo by having the wave system where every time there's a round change, it gives you the letter boxes in perfect Halo fashion. There's chalk outlines for weapons that you can buy from the walls. There's even barriers for doors that you can go ahead and unlock that will progress you through the map. And as you can see, this is actually just the ending section of Sierra 117 from Halo 3. You're just fighting endless waves of flood throughout the level. Not only do you get all that, there are even perks you can buy from the walls. You also get the random box, which is just a fantastic touch. With the random box, anytime you go ahead and buy it, there is that random chance where it's going to go ahead and disappear and move to another spot on the map. And perfectly right at the beginning of the map, you can even see where the random box is located, just like in Call of Duty Zombies. After I played this for one, two, even three rounds, I knew this was something I'm going to continuously come back to because it's so addicting. One of the things that I loved about Call of Duty Zombies back in the day was just seeing how far you can get with the rounds, just fighting off zombies, getting those random little pickups, which even in this mod, there's pickups. Insane amount of detail. That's one of the things that's so addicting about it. Now you can actually have that same experience inside of Halo. 
This is just amazing for so many Halo fans to go in and have an experience that they've wanted for so long after so many years. Another thing I actually want to go ahead and pay attention to as well is the audio with this mod. The mod author really took it a step further by still having an announcer that's in the level itself. So of course, as you know, in the Call of Duty Zombies experience, there's that announcer. These mod authors went as far as just tweaking Jeff Steitzer's voice just a little bit to where it has that garbly horror type of noise. Rampage. Open season. Double point. Where it really immerses you into the zombies experience. One of the things that I also was kind of worried about going into this mod was how are they going to break up each of the rounds? It's just going to be consistently going through and fighting the flood over and over again. Nope, there is a dog round as well. And the way it's presented is magnificent. Also, this mod does support co-op, so if you have friends to play this with, I highly recommend checking it out with your buddies. And of course, just like in that dog's round inside of Call of Duty, you do get your ammo replenished, which, and again, just attention to detail. This is what I'm talking about. This is why modding is amazing. This is why I always continuously come back to modding and why I find it to be incredible. And of course, whenever you go down and everyone's out, the round ends. And there's, of course, those static shots with the zombies still remaining on the map, just like in that classic fashion. Mwah! That attention to detail. So good. So good. So, if you're a Halo fan like me who loves to mod games, then I highly recommend that you go check this out. I'm going to go ahead and drop the Nexus link for this mod down below. And I highly recommend that you go support the mod authors who created this. They are fantastic, and what they've done here is just a work of art. And I can't wait to see more of what they do in the future. Also, another modder you should check out who's making waves actually here on YouTube is Rejected Shotgun. He makes fantastic mods. I highly recommend that you go check out his stuff over here on YouTube as well as over on the Nexus and play around with some of his stuff if you haven't already. But if you're a Halo fan, I highly recommend this. Please go ahead and check it out. Support the mods that you enjoy playing with. Support the content creators that you enjoy watching. And modders are content creators. They do a lot of this stuff mainly for free. So when it comes to modders, definitely endorse them. That's a big thing that I, you know, highly encourage. But if you like this content, definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also follow me on Twitch. I'm streaming there two to three days out of the week, every week. And I just play random stuff over there. Like maybe you'll catch this over on the stream or you know i'll play some other mod that i find interesting out there hit that like just want to make this quick video about this mod and how i love modding and if you made it to the end of this video i love your face i'll see you next time have a good one peace